This goes in my shower. So when I sit down, I change. So I've been trying to find that in the house. What is that? That dog stink. Let me go see if it Or I'm going to take it back. It was in the bathroom section. Your boot collection. Your Da Vinci boot collection. Yeah. 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 So I can sit down and in the shower. Yeah, you can take a shower. Oh, I need to take a shower. And then I can sit on the lap. Cap. Oh my god. <laughs> Too much. To Stop, me. Dad! Stop, Dad! You tore him up, huh? No. Hey, oh, shoe strings. Look at the shoe strings. They're not pink no more. They are pink. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way I'll be looking for They are pink. Like that. Did you say that? They are pink. They are. What about it? What? They are pink. Don't, yeah. don't you, it's not your shoestrings. They're gray. No. The yeah, edges is messed up. Okay. That's not nothing. <laughs> I don't see the Stop! <laughs> What's wrong huh? What's wrong with you, man? Huh? Want to know something? Uh, okay, like, okay, let me just get straight. Okay, come in here. No. Okay, I'll tell you in here. What? I'll tell you in here. What? Uh, screaming. It's so embarrassing. What? It is so embarrassing. What'd you okay. say, babe? Okay. The house. Okay. Out there, left his car run. Oh, you gotta no, get those are for them. Oh, those things are off them beds. What was that jam? Jam, Whitney. Oh, where are they going? I told them they hungry. I told them that I was gonna go. So, what was you saying? You were oh. doing a play? Uh huh, I'm at school. Matilda play. Who? Matilda. Who's Matilda? You? No, they said I might be getting the part Lavender. Lavender? Yeah. Who is she? Matilda's best friend. Okay, let me hear you. <clears throat> so, once upon a time, there was a best acrobat in stunt performance in the whole wide world. A lot of people came to see kings, queens, celebrities, and astronauts. But the acrobat was too fierce to do it. But she didn't. His he had to suffer to get his wife in time, then boom, without getting her down to the ground. Okay, now the song. When I grow up, I will be tall enough to reach the branches on the tree. And when I grow up, I will be tall enough to climb the trees, because you know how to climb when you're grown up. When I grow up, I will eat sweet on the way to work and and I will stay up all night late. You okay? And I and when it's the morning I will watch cartoons when my and when my eyes go square and I don't care cuz I'm all grow up when I grow up I will be brave enough. Hey, so you you memorized all that? You good, up, boo. You good, boo. Brave enough. Give me some, boo. When I grow up, I will be brave enough to to feast. I mean to. You still uh, know how to tap there? Yeah. Okay. 
You got your tap shoes too? No. What's up with ballet? You going back to ballet? No. Why'd you leave your old school? You got tired of it? My mom didn't like it, and the colors were dumb. What, the uniform? Yeah, the uniform was dumb, and the colors at the school were stupid. I thought you liked the school. Don't fall in there, boo. I ain't coming in after you. It's cold in there. Yeah, you ready to get in there, huh? It's no. too cold in By the way, we're going to be going to dinner. So. Who? Me, Whitney, Ma, and Chai. Where, right now? Yeah, we're getting Mexican food. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Wanna come with us? Probably not. Daddy been working all day. I'm tired. We need someone to drive us. Everyone's too scared to drive. They like Chai. Chai? Know how to drive? Ah! Chai can take the wheel. You guys are okay? I'm driving. I'm tired. Go film. <laughs> what are y'all looking at? Daddy said I can record, actually. I like her video, that's cute. What I'm you doing? I'm looking video with Paco. <laughs> I'm like, ah! Uh. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Mom. Mom. What are you doing? Mom. Um, I'm, I'm just right here. Say hello. So we're getting Johnny's uh, disturbing. I don't want to be recorded right now because I look a hot We're getting Johnny's mess. Hey, Ma. I know we're you hate to be on the camera. Hey, baby. Hey. Let's bring it on. I'm trying to sure they got to take her stuff out here. Hey, Whitney. Well, hi, Lucky Boo. This is the dog. The next day. Shit. Top of the morning, y'all. Back with another video, man. Got my work cut out for me today, guys. Man, what is you tripping on? I will be back. Bruh. We're going to get some bread. I know we're not taking you. We're not taking you today. We're going to get some bread somewhere else. We're doing some power only. I know. I know. I love you. I'll be back. We got to go get some money. Let's roll, B. What it do, guys? We're back with another one, man. I'm back in the saddle, man. Back in the bubble, B, man. See, I done got my folks. My folks ain't behind me, man. El Blanco ain't behind me. You see how she was tripping, looking at me like I was crazy. But anyhow, man, we back in the saddle, man. Saturday workflow, man. Um, power only. Grind time. You know what I'm saying? I want to get to it, man. It's a bunch of shit I'm trying to get accomplished. I got to go grind. Shit that I want, man. I got to go grind. You know, bills got to be paid. I got to get up and grind. Chatty Chai want new dunks. I got to grind. Miss Peaches want a new bag. I got to grind. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of shit you got to do too, man. So get up off your butt, man, and grind, man. Ain't no way through it but to do it, man. I was laying in the bed all cozy next to the wife, all snuggled in. Like a little, like little snuggles. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I had to get up and shake it off, man, and go get to the bridge, y'all. Y'all see me keep dropping these trucking vlogs back to back, man, because that's what I got going on at that moment in my life. It's grinding, 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 man. Grinding this truck out, man. You know what I mean? I be spending too many days at home sitting there twiddling my thumbs, man, and the bag ain't going to fall out the sky, man. Everybody call it the root to all evil. All money's not everything. Usually people that say that, them just people who don't got shit. You know what I'm saying? Money ain't the root to all evil unless you out here doing dirt to get it. Robbing folks and flocking and, you know, burglaries and pimping and all the, you know, you're doing wrong, man. It's just the root to evil. All the evil things you're doing to get to the money, man. I'm out here making an honest living now, man. I done changed my life around drastically, you know what I mean? Been on the square tip. 
for quite some time now and I love it, man. I ain't got to be looking over my, my shoulders and peeping out of windows and stuff. And just, you know, it's lovely, man. I love it. It ain't the route to all evil. To me, it's the route to getting a whole bunch of shit done, a whole bunch of stuff that I want to buy for myself and my family. And, uh, and also share with y'all, man. You know what I mean? I love doing them giveaways and giving away them gift cards and all that, man. So I got to get some money, man, the right way, man. But uh, we back in the B, man. It's cool to move around early like this on Saturdays. The traffic usually be quiet. People be, you know, still in their sacks, man, laid up, pillow talking. You know what I mean? Pillow talking, man. Stop that pillow talking, man. Let's go get this trailer, man. I'll tap that with y'all when I get over to this yard in Long Beach. Man, I salute all you guys that work this port area, man, because I can tell this shit will be super confusing until you really knew what was uh going on around here, man, and where to go and which way to go. It's my first time even coming to the port, man. I don't even have a Twit card. They won't issue your boy a Twit card, man, due to uh my prior uh, criminal history, but it's all good, man. So obviously I must just be going to one of these like exchange yards. I hope they don't ask me for it. I hope I ain't got up and did all this for nothing. But I'm um, here looking for a uh, trailer, man. I don't know. Here goes this other check-in desk. I hope they don't ask for the Twit card or so, man. I'm asked out, man. All right, guys. So I'm here, man. This is my first time dealing with this. I hate like searching for trailers man this is this is finna be crazy obviously i'm looking for one that's uh sitting on the chassis that's for sure and uh fuck man give me one minute man let me see what the damn trailer number is this is crazy man so on these containers, they usually have like their ID number be right there. Like you can see that one, those numbers going down. So we're looking for something with MRKU259, man. So we're going to drive through here slowly, man. See how long it takes us to, to find this thing. What time is it, man? It's 10 o'clock on the nose, guys. 959. 10 o'clock on the nose. MRKU259. Spent about 20 minutes, 30 minutes around here looking for it. Try to secure the bag, man. Okay, so I see MRKU, but we need 259. MRKU259. Man, this is hell, guys. The damn yard goat hustler guy. He's having a hard time in here. This shit is tight, man. I'm gonna spend some more time looking for it, man, because it's paying real decent, man. MRKU259. Look, see, he's, he's hung up on the tail end back there, man. So I bet any kind of money, he's just gonna snatch it out, man. Is he gonna actually lower that one? hook up to the other one and push it over he watched him just smash it out man they don't care man this be the worst part about dealing with these containers man it's not the container the container is just a big old hunk of metal you know what i mean uh, just a metal box you know what i mean but sitting on these chassis they dog these chassis out the tires the lights the landing gear is just hell man so even if I do find it, man, I couldn't, I'm not gonna step down in all that water to jack this thing up. I'm gonna need him to come pull it out for me. Look, he keep getting hung up. See how they, he just gonna snatch it out of there. I'm sure watch. Watch him snatch it out, man. He's stuck. With all this water, man. There's fishes out here, man. Rain ain't even start coming down hard yet. The whole part about it is they said they sent a couple trucks out here already looking for it, man. So they know how I get out, man. They love my get out, man. So I'm out here trying to find it, but I'm going to look, man. If it ain't here, it ain't here, man. You know what I mean? Send somebody else a fourth truck, but keep my fingers crossed, man. Let's find this thing, man. MRKU259. So 
somewhere around here, man. It's not that many aisles. Three, four aisles. Oh, we can find it, though, y'all. Oh, there it go, man. Now, they told me that they called up here, and they I just rolled right by it, guys. I can't believe it, man. There we go, man. MR... KU 259. I'm going to check the other numbers, man, but that's her right there, man. Where's the landing gear at, man? Fuck, I can't get to the landing gear. Oh, no, the landing gear is right here on this side. And uh, this is our box, man. Raggedy box. Get out here in the mud, man. And I got the Balenci's on. This is crazy, man. MRKU. 259 3228. Let's see. Let's check these other numbers, man. Alright, guys. So I'm hooked up to the trailer. Uh, I already did my walk around. I got my airlines connected. Uh, checked all the tires in the back. The tires are good. Was able to get the landing gear up fairly easy. Got my truck idling, just building up the air pressure to release back here. The uh, the brakes, man. I'm glad to see that all the lights are working on this chassis. This chassis looks fairly new. Like I said, you can have a beat up looking container and have an excellent looking chassis as this one does. I got two mud flaps. All our lights is working, guys. Look how tight that is, man. If the landing gear was over on this side, we'd have big problems. But what I want to show you guys was the reason I stopped and bought these zip ties is you see this little locking mechanism right here? Show you guys something. See how this turns, guys? You see that? When it's turned like this, you could basically, this thing will just lift up and come from off. When you turn it this way, you see how it's locked in place? It's open now. It can come off. They can lift it up off the chassis. They have them this way when they set the chassis on. I mean, when they set the containers on the chassis, and you turn it this way, and you lock it in place. But sometimes, you see this little lever right here? If I pull this lever down, look, I can't. It prevents that from turning. So what I need to do is put some zip ties right here because this is what we want to keep locked down to prevent this handle from pulling out and allowing this to open up man because that's how normally these containers flip over fairly easy say you're coming around the curb on the freeway interchange or something like that and they have them on all four corners one right here see that one's in the lock position and two more which is like a pin style uh, lock in the front but it's raining on my camera, y'all. I got my zip ties. Let me go ahead and get this thing locked down and get checked out and do it moving, man. Yeah, all the lights is working. Make sure my flashes is working because that's the main thing is making sure you turn signals. I don't really got much experience with these containers either, man. I think I moved around a container maybe once or twice just local moving something around on the yard But I never got out on the open highway with one You can't slide the tandems back. So uh Your trailer axles are all the way to the back Sometimes these things are super heavy Top heavy normally when they shipping this stuff across the waters like that man They pack these things out. This thing is filled to the top. I'm sure I put money on it I don't know what's in there but uh, we all hooked up, man. Let me get my zip ties on, man. And pull this thing up out this hole, man. Look how I'm doing the Balenci's, man, in the rain. This is crazy, man. Wetting up my freaking vloggy. Wetting up my Sony. So I want to show y'all, man. You see how I got these zip ties on here? So that essentially prevents this from lifting up. Check these tires on the other side, man. We were so close to that other... Uh, trailer tires is good and you see how I got this zip tie right here it prevents this one from lifting up and won't let this pull back to open that up 
so they bonded together where that won't twist. Let's check these other tires, man. Tires is good. Zip lock is on right there. Wait, wait, I get him a little tighter. And I get him a little, a little tighter, guys. Hey, see? Hey, it's not gonna pull. It's locked in there. We locked in. We locked in, man. Let's get up out this mud. Successful couple to a container, y'all. Now all we gotta do, providers, is make our way out of this flooded container, aluminum can infested yard, man. This shit just look as deep as it is, but shit. I like how they got this gravel down. You can tell this box is pretty heavy too. I just noticed too, man, I think I need to slide my fifth wheel up a little bit further too. Because I remember when I was working with containers before, the gentleman that works for this broker, uh, the smaller carrier that I'm working with on this load, I remember his driver was telling me, man, slide your, uh, give me one second, man. Slide your, uh, slide the fifth wheel up a little bit because when you turn, your tires will be rubbing on the land again. I just heard some like a rubber sound. He's like, you can snatch off your uh Yeah, you see how close we are? This is extremely close to the landing gear on these containers. It's just this isn't 53 feet. I'm not sure how long this one is. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and release the uh the air pressure. And you see how my, my quarter fender is sitting about right here. We're going to bring it up forward. You know, basically, we put, we're bringing our tractor up a little bit to where we're not so close to this landing gear, man. I don't want to fuck up my mud flaps or my tires or anything. I successfully picked up my first container, real container load, not just moving nothing around no yard or take it out that door and put it in this door or, you know, put the trailer over there because that's basically all I've done, man. I ain't been no further than within somebody's yard just moving a container around. But I do got a load leaving out tomorrow. We heading out to Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to vlog that up for y'all, man. Sunday workflow. Deliver Monday early morning and head back to the town, man. Monday, guys. But I uh, just wanted to share that with you, man. You know, when I was, uh, before I got back in the seat, man, and doing trucking, man, I used to look at a lot of videos on containers and stuff like that, and I would watch guys and try to learn how to deal with the chassis because I've always heard so much bad stuff about them. So as far as that little zip top, zip lock hack, I watched a few videos on this one guy who uh, his channel just pretty much resolves around dealing with containers and stuff like that and changing lights on them and sometimes the brakes lock up on them you got to know how to release the uh the uh your brakes you know what i mean sometimes they lock up man and the air is not getting back there you know it's just hell they don't take really good care of the chassis and i don't know why not when you know majority of the uh, american people's products come in on those things in the containers but got to be sent on the chassis to get delivered to them to the people but um 
it is what it is, man. I successfully did it. I feel glad that I did it. I'm glad the guys entrusted me to do it. You know what I mean? And uh, like I say, man, I'm just trying to build my relationship back up with a smaller carrier slash broker. And uh, I was the third truck they sent out there, man. Like I said, the first two guys couldn't find it. And your boy found it, man. So we hooked up to Container, man. Just want to share this little information, trucking information with you guys, man. And uh, don't ever be too scared, man, to take chances and take risks and get out there and figure out and figure your way, man. You know, you got to get out and ask questions. I've never really been in that port of Los Angeles area working, like I said, because I can't work in that area. And it's like a needle in the haystack looking for a trailer. And uh, you see, we drove around that yard. We found it, man. And I'm, I'm real proud of myself. And I know... You know, on this Saturday morning, that makes the broker happy too, because that's how they're they gonna get their bread too, man.